we treat people with respect, what we end up doing is triggering very solid biological processes. What happens is we actually, the brain releases two very important chemical compounds or neurotransmitters, serotonin and oxytocin. And it's kind of like, those are like the pleasure hormones for the brain. And whenever someone treats me in a manner that I feel is, quote, respectful, I, my brain is like, it's like it, it's just got a little shot of, uh, of, of morphine or oxycontin or something or something, some feel-good drug. And I immediately associate that with a person. Who'd that come from? Oh, that came from you or you. And guess what my brain does? Now I have a cluster of neurons that associate you with that feel-good, and I want more of it. <laughs> I want more of it right away. So what I start doing is I start reciprocating that behavior back. I start anything that I think I can do to nurture that relationship, I start to do. I pay attention. If I have information that, that I come across that I think will be helpful, I'll share it with you, right? Even when you don't ask for it. Why? Because you have positively primed me for that kind of interaction. That we have these so backpacks on. Someone treats you with respect. What kind of emotions are in your backpack? What do you feel on that day? Happy, what else? Confident, energized, valued. How heavy is that backpack? You've got helium in there. You are like floating along. Whoa, whoa, almost went into the danger zone here. You are floating along because your backpack is so light. Okay, so here's, imagine that were the chemistry in your entire organization. Would that make a difference? Here's what we would typically see. People have a much higher level of job satisfaction. Work does not become a have to. I don't have to go to work. I look forward to going to work. Sometimes maybe even more than staying at home, right? Uh, improved physical health. By the way, come and visit Chad at our booth with the Cleveland Clinic. There's some great, uh, some great wellness tips that he's, he's offering over there, free of charge and assessments. Improve physical health. Attract, engage, and keep the very best talent. Respectful work cultures are absolutely tied to our ability to engage our employees, period, because... One of the ways that we define engagement, we know that people who feel valued by their workplaces tend to be much more willing to invest emotionally in their business. When we treat people with respect, we make them feel valued. Better communication and learning within the organization. In respectful workplaces, information flies back and forth like rocket speed. It just zooms back and forth. There's absolutely no hesitation for people to share anything and everything they know with anybody else in the organization whom they, with whom they think it might be helpful. Improved client satisfaction. How many of you have ever had a phone, in, uh, you've called one of the utility companies or somebody else and you got on the phone with somebody that you knew was not having a good day? When we have respectful interactions internally, it tends to come to become external also with anybody who's in a customer-facing position. Higher productivity and ultimately higher resilience. We make it through tough times together better when we have climate service.